Hello everyone, Uncle Clyde once more in the kitchen today and today I'll make a stew pot like a long time we have one with from the washing, we have all my seasoning here fresh from the garden and another thing I want to say this pork, I'm not putting any coconut milk I'm doing it traditionally you know, because a long time we didn't know about coconut milk and pork and stew, meat and chicken and thing was just cook it like that with the garden seasoning and that was it. Yeah, so I have a pork here. Time to season it. You're making sure and give your meat for at least three washing so that all the blood water and everything, everything will come out. But you make sure the water clean. So now I'll put all my little seasoning on it, starting from a little pinch of salt, not too much because another thing I will be adding ruku to my pork, you know. Ruku has salt. Yeah, so right now I can't put too much salt in the meat because this have a lot of salt in it. Can't put too much. A little black pepper. You don't have to put too much, just a little bit. Pimento. Another thing, I don't show the seed, because the seed is good, it's very good. Some people, you know, they might find it true in the seed, but the seed had the real ingredients. Yeah. Real flavor. Real flavor, real, real flavor. Have the broad leaf here. Crush it up like this. You know, not to blend in here, you know. Everything is the long time way. Because long time we didn't have blender and all those things. Yeah. It didn't even have current to see whether you could buy a blender or anything to blend. It's straight from the garden like this and the season your meat and you're good to go. So you see, you don't have to have no set of big seasoning. You just have to get the main ones, you know, and you're good to go. Especially with the Spanish time, you have a lot of flavor. Lovely. Yeah, love in your house. So we're good to go there already. I could leave it rest for like a half an hour to three quarter of an hour. Let it take in the seasoning and then to cook. So I have the oil here. Yeah, not too much because pork already have the oil and thing, you know. So I have my garlic here. See me, garlic stone. He about he have about twenty years. Yeah, I have him real long time. And now I'll add the sugar. Let me get the color. So I'm just waiting for it to get the color I want and then I'll put the meat in it and patty stuff. <laughs> so you see it's starting to come up one side. So you see how it come brown and nice now? It's almost, almost, almost good. So I had to get the color that I want. It mustn't be too brown. It had to be tan, you know, a kind of golden color. Fresh seasoning from the garden. You can't go wrong. Now I don't turn them into one time. I'll leave it like here. Leave it settle itself. Make a little hole in the center. and add my roku. Always shake well before using it because when it's settled down, you know, on top you get watery you know, kind of back and all thing.
For that amount of pork, I will put a like a half spoon. Like this. Or maybe a little more because like five pounds of meat, you could put a full spoon. So I'll put like three quarter spoon. Yeah. Right. And a little bit right there. That's it there. So I will leave it there, let it for about uh, five minutes or so. So you'll find when I turn it over, that portion of dung already brown. So less turning, you know. Love in the house. But I go and get bay leaf, right in the tree, right at the back of the wall, I used to put in the pork, fresh from the tree. Fresh from the That's it. Fresh from the tree. You can't go wrong with that at all. Loving the house. So I'm cracking them in two, you know, just give them a little split. So the flavor will come out, you know. You get the real thing. Place them all about. You don't have to put too much, you know, and then press it down. So while it's getting the color, you're getting the bay leaf flavor one time. So I will leave it there for a while, on about a five minutes, as I say, that it get the color underneath. And when I turn it over, I start it to come in. So it should be ready to turn. So you see there now, when I turn it over, you'll see the color coming over. This is starting to get the color already. But the color is starting to come in. It's a little patient, but all that is part of the job. Love any else. So now I will check with my pork and see how it's going to see if I get any color that I want. You see? Coming to come, you see? We have a golden color. For now, I will add some fresh salt, what I cut up, and then later on, I'll add the rest of the ingredients. All this will help make up the little gravy, you know, the little sauce. It's fresh from your garden. That's right, yeah. fresh from the garden. You see it? Green and nice. As I say, no coconut milk. Just simple ingredients and that's it. So as you see, I now add some water to it because they need to soften it up a little bit. You know, you must soften your meat. So I just put a little water and it's going down all right. Nice little color with my little ruku. You know how things does go? Love in the house. I'm checking on my pot there now, which is supposed to be good by now. Yeah, man, we're looking good there. Yeah, we're looking good to go there. Soft and nice and a nice little color. As I say, no coconut milk, no set of big ingredients. Just simple things and we're good to go. Yeah. Love any house all the time, natural. <laughs>